What is up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Hooking with Hutch. I believe this is our third ice fishing video. I did not record an intro that day because I literally could not have my gloves off. It was absolutely freezing. There was like an icy, cold freaking breeze. It was a miserable day. I was only out there for a quick little session, probably about an hour, hour and a half or so. Uh, I went fishing right after getting out of work and I had to drive all the way to Grand Isle to go fishing. So I didn't have much time before it got dark. And Unless you have lights to bite at night for ice fishing, at least in my experience, it just seems like it's god awful. But either way, guys, in this short little period of time, we caught some really good perch. Like two that I won't give away the, the video, but two that were in a really nice size. We'll just put it like that, all right? So either way, guys, we're gonna get right into the video. Thank you guys for tuning in. And thank you guys for giving me a 200 subs, by the way. I just remembered that. Thank you guys so much. We're 200 plus strong. We're at about 205. And we're going to keep growing, baby. So let's keep it going. I will see you guys in the video. Tight lines. All right, you guys. Here we go. There's a piece of spike. Oh my god, right off the bat. Are you kidding me? That is huge. That might be bigger than our, our PB we just barely caught. Oh my god. That's the first fish of the day, seriously. Look at that, guys. No way. No freaking way. Wow. That is an absolute unit. That's a slab and a half. This one is, it's actually just short, about 10 inches. It's not our PB, but damn close. 10 inch perch right there. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get started today. day. There he goes, all healthy. All right, good. I was almost worried I had him out of the water too long. This is a damn good perch to start the day. I really hope that. I really hope that keeps up. That's awesome. Kind of bummed I didn't get a picture with it, but it's all right. I knew that fish felt rather big when it hit. I was pulling it up. I'm like, that ain't coming up too easy. That's awesome. Yep, there's another one. This one's pretty long, too. Not fat like that last one, but still a very respectable fish. See you later, dude. Wow. This might be the hole. If I can get my line to come out. There we go. I want to get a picture of that, that big one we caught right off the bat, but I'd rather get back in quick and keep hammering them and seeing if there's something bigger in this hole. Alright, there we go. Another good one. If we catch one more, I think I'm going to go down with the jig and rop and see if we can get a really big perch to bite. That was another bump. Another bump. There we go. Alright, we're going to go with the jig and rop. yellow. I have so much more respect for these fish now. I'm going to set this rod down for a second. Brand new rod. I just took the reel from the one we were just fishing with and put it on this one because that one unfortunately snapped. Still works just as good though. Here's what we're tossing down. Little, little tiny micro jig and rock perch. 
got this because I felt like I might potentially be able to get that 13 inch perch we're looking for to bite on this. Or potentially a pike or a bass or something. There we go. Just a little dude. He caught the troubles too. That's the only thing I was worried about with this bait. There we go. See you, buddy. So it looks like little ones will bite this, which is no biggie, but I kind of hoping I wasn't going to have to take troubles out of a small perch's mouth all day. There we go. Oh! What happened there? Okay, there we go. I think one of these hooks that came out the side there got caught. See you later, buddy. Thanks for biting. little yellow See you, dude. thanks for biting thanks for playing I just don't think a five inch hole is the best hole to be fishing with this old jig and romp I'm just noticing that the uh, hooks on the end and on the head get caught on the ice here's another pretty big one you might put him on the scale just because he looks pretty long but I don't think this one's going to be over 10. I don't think it'll even be 10. We'll see. Well, and it is a nice size. Well, we won't measure it. Oh. See, dude. There we go. I don't know, I just don't think that was going to be even 10. I think that might have been 9 maybe. 9 and some change. We'll get that master angler perch though eventually here. There we go. Oh, that's a nice one. Ooh. That might be long enough. This guy's pretty huge actually. Holy crap. This one will get a measurement. This one's pretty freaking long. Come on. Be big enough. Be big enough. Might be a little bit over 10. I don't think this is going to be a 13 inch or still. But we'll see if lengthwise we have a new PB here. Yep, this one is, this matches our PB right here. This one is 10 and a quarter. Really nice fish right there. All right, 10 and a quarter perch right there. Second 10 plus inch of the day. See you later, buddy. God, it is so cold out. Bite died down, all my spikes are frozen solid, so 